Hello, my name's John Dexter and welcome to my channel where I share with you my experience in all aspects of photography. So please subscribe to my channel, it would be much appreciated and hit that notification bell to see future videos. I want to show you a hidden setting in Nikon's Capture NX2 um, that if you're not already using, um, this will not only make your life so much easier but it will also improve um, the way that you edit your images. So if what I'm about to show you is not actually happening to you then obviously you've rectified it already and there's no need for you to continue watching the video but if it is I advise you to watch because this can really simplify um, the way you edit your images. Right, so the problem I have is here's an image which I've done some adjustments to with all the boxes ticked. Now, if I wanted to go back into, uh, say, contrast and brightness, as soon as I make a slight adjustment, all the adjustments that I had made after contrast and brightness are turned off which can be a bit of a problem because you're not actually seeing what your readjustment has made to your image until you turn all the boxes back on again. So you're not actually seeing this adjustment in real time. Um, so is that a problem you have? Um, if it is, you'll, you'll know that you can go into any of these adjustments and as soon as you tweak it, the adjustments made after it are turned off but I have found a way to prevent this from happening and this is how you do it. Come across to the top left hand corner and click on edit and then go down to the bottom to preferences then across to general and click on general you'll then get this window up and you come down to edit list and it says keep all steps active in edit list. You just click on that. Now it does say that it requires a fast processor uh, to use this. Um, I've uh, um, been using it for quite a while now and I haven't found a problem. It does slow the adjustment down slightly um, on my computer but nothing um, drastic. Um, but the only way you're going to find out is, is to try it uh, and see how fast your computer is. So once you've done that, you then just click OK. Now, if I come across again to contrast and brightness and I make an adjustment to that, there you go, the boxes remained ticked. So you are actually seeing this adjustment in real time. And that, to my way of thinking, makes life a lot easier. So there you have it. If you've had this problem, then I hope this really helps you out. If it does, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for future videos. So this is John Dexter. Bye for now.